tell me the, the premise of The Circle. So The Circle is based on a novel by Dave Eggers, and it's about a young woman named Mae Holland who sort of is stuck in a dead-end job, still lives with her parents, and gets sort of a lifeline thrown to her by an old friend. She gets a job interview at The Circle, which is a giant tech company. She gets the job, and it's an amazing place, which slowly transforms for her from being sort of a dream job to a religion, and sort of as she rises through the ranks professionally, there's some uh, personal setbacks that deal with sort of privacy and surveillance. I mean, you could probably replace like the circle with Facebook, Twitter, any of the, the big tech companies we're hearing about and these ethical questions. I mean, in the novel, there's these questions of how far is too far and what are we sacrificing uh, with our privacy? I think the thing with like a lot of these companies is they're, the, you know, they're born out of such a idealistic um, original notion, right? Like ma making life easier. Making, connecting the world. Connecting the world. Building empathy. And building empathy, yeah, exactly. Being an empathy builder. I think the, the compromise obviously comes for the people that use them when they have to see their private information that's then collected, stored, and then monetized potentially, who knows, to, to sell to us better. Um, you know, in, in the film, Emma Watson's character, she plays Mae, the lead, like she essentially becomes the public face of the company when she puts on a, a what's called a sea change camera and just broadcasts her entire life. And she suddenly, um, you know, is a celebrity and has a sense of self-worth and her family, there's benefits for her family. They get on health coverage, all of these things, but there's just little, little compromises along the way. There's this thought that if there is no privacy, there is no hiding and that the world can adapt. Sure. That leaves me thinking, don't we all deserve secrets? Don't we all deserve the right for, for anonymity to a degree? You know, I, I think when we look at um, individuals or groups where there are systemic abuses of power, whether um, it's in politics, in government, in law enforcement, where there's historically groups of people that are persecuted or marginalized by them, it's like, yeah. Hell yeah! Let's put a body camera on and like yeah. and try to get Justice. Tr yeah truth to power and record what's happening. Um, and so I think we can all agree with that. But then it becomes a real slippery slope when you just decide to put a body camera on everyone. Why not one for this local elected official? Why not for our parents? Why not for your preschool teacher? Why why doesn't everyone get one? I mean, we've become a culture of people that are sort of spying on each other, um, probably with the best of intentions, because we want to. Um, make ourselves safe and protect those that we love, but um, it's hard to undo that once that's the reality you've created for yourself. But of course, your relationship with technology is complicated because you met your wife on Facebook. I mean, technology changed your life in, in potentially the best way possible. Absolutely, and I think, um, you know, this film, The Circle, it's not it's not a technophobic film. I mean, I don't like propaganda. You know, I wouldn't like a propaganda film for technology, against technology. It's too big and abstract to even think that you could. Um, yeah. You know, it's just, it's part of our life. And to make a movie about the idea of trying to undo it, I think is like someone trying to like stop a tidal wave.